Hello everyone, welcome back to, uh, welcome back to Full Hilt. Last time we started the, uh, we started the th oh, hang on. Last time we, uh, we started the, uh, the third chapter. And we do have the, I don't think I've ever used the Lolo flowers before. Well, if it isn't Chuckles, Baron of Spades, at last you've come. Oh, how nice of you, First Higgles. Have you been here this entire time? I hope you didn't make your, I didn't make your wait long. It's all. <laughs> It's always a joke of you, isn't it, my dear brother? You couldn't even take your death seriously. Why do you still call me your brother? I despise you in your in your entirety, and I know you loathe me, so why? Why? You answered your own question, dear brother of mine. I do this because I know how much you despise me in my kingdom. Everything I do is to make, in, uh, make you wreathe in absolute agony. But let us not dawdle on such mundane matters. I have a gift for you, Chuckles, anyway. Or enjoy. Oh, and here's that robot we've seen a million times now. <laughs> Looks like a new toy. How long will this one ta uh, last against me? Long enough, brother. That panel you're on is an elevator to the sky deck. And that mech you're fighting is equipped with a nuclear core and self-destruct. In short, big explosion. Enjoy your trip. Is this a timed boss? Damn, Higgles. He's, fa uh, he's found yet another way to piss me off. Why isn't it attacking me? Is it malfunctioning? Is it scared of me? What is it doing? Wait a minute, it has to remain in one piece or blow its core, doesn't it? If so it's stalling for time so that it will live long enough to explode. In that case, I'll just have to thrash you before you can blow right. Too easy? Bring it, you oversized toaster oven. Yeah, this is a timed boss fight. We don't get these very often. Uh, what did... What did it do to me? Huh, okay. Um... So the game recommended using a Lolo flower. Interesting. So I'm assuming this boss has no magic abilities. Oh, that increases that by a lot. Let's see. Let's do this. I'm assuming this is my scan ability for this character. 200 health. Weak to- oh wow, it's weak to everything. Um, lightning, water, and darkness. It resists physical. Okay, so I have to use magic abilities against it. Maybe this then? No. Remember, the thing with this game is that bosses always have strategies to them. Can I confuse you at all? It seems you're finally immune to something. Oh! How much does this do? That still does a lot. I'm starting to think that this boss isn't timed, because I don't see like a counter or anything. I think I am supposed to use the Confuse ability. Because I noticed it did something. Huh, interesting. using their Lolo flower pretty soon. But one MP off, are you mad game? <laughs> oh! I got 21 of these, like... Oh, that stacks! Interesting. Huh. Okay, I didn't really understand what the point of that, or what the, what the, like, strategy 
to that fight was. Unless the Lolo Flower was the strategy. You know what I think could make that fight a little more interesting? What if there was, like, actually a timer to it? Like, maybe you had, say... Let's say 40 turns to take it down. Because it's still, like, an intimidatingly small number, but it's, like, small enough that, like, the average player... Like, it's basically just just something there to, to make you feel like there's a bit more... Uh, there's a bit of a higher stake there. Anyway, annoying machine, did you truly believe you would be allowed to explode on me without challenge? How arrogant. Oh. What the hell? How is this thing still kicking? Damn, this bastard's running on reserve power. Is he seriously going to try and blow that? A blow with that? Wretched, overdetermined machine. While I'd love to nothing more than to toy with you, I've got to run. And this should be where his story matches up with the other two characters. Sounds like somebody's having a bad day. You! What's that supposed to mean, Chuckles? Damn it, what is Zack doing here? If that idiot gets killed, uh, then I'll die too? Doesn't he know that? Idiots. Why aren't you persistent? Choke on this, you giant metal monstrosity. So now we know what smoke control does. Well, look at that, it's immune to my smoke. Looks like Higgles has seriously stepped up his game. Are you trying to get us all killed, Chuckles? What, um, where did this thing even come from? Sorry to interrupt, but we have a problem to deal with first. We can leave the explanation for later. Look out, this thing is trying to ram us off the ship. <laughs> That's so funny to me, like... <laughs> Stop, you idiots! Yeah, damn fools, do you not realize how weak you are? Zack, you better not die. Oh. Not dead. I guess Zack survived the fall. Good. Well, who are you? Yes, you're hiding behind the screen, acting as though you can control my... Is this game breaking the fourth wall? Well, do you have a name, or are you nothing more than a rat hiding in the wall of my mind? Who. Are. You. <laughs> so am I a rat now? Hold on a second. Why not? <laughs> sure. So it's Game Dog then. That's an interesting name. I suppose that it's nice to meet you, Game Dog. I wonder what you really look like. Maybe one day I'll find out. <laughs> I mean, there are pictures of me online. Um. Oh God, I'm a rat. <laughs> rats, rats. We are the rats. What's that from, by the way? I know someone on Discord who, like, loves that lot, who says that all the time. I have no stats, none at all. I have my items, though. And why do I only point right? You can... The rat has multiple ways to move, by the way. Um, do not touch that. The rat will be your container. Wait. That rat will be your container until I see fit to change it. I suppose while I'm unconscious, I can answer some questions. Ask away. <laughs> you and I are one the same. Viewers from the outside looking in at someone else's story. But the difference is uh, that I made myself a part of it instead of just watching it. This is my mind. The place is... Oh, it's his... It's his, uh, it's his mind dungeon. <laughs> in the place of which I reside when I need a bit more quiet, which you are interrupting. A rat, quite the upgrade if I say so myself. Upgrade from what, you ask? Why, a flea, of course, and before that, an insignificant flea. And before that, a worm in the dirt. And even before that, well, actually, now that I think about it, I believe that you were a balloon animal at one point, but that may have been higher on the list. I can't really recall. One second. Hang on a sec, Cross gave me some notes on this. I'm not gonna skim them, I'm, I'm gonna skim them real quick. Either way, you're a rat because you're a pest or an annoyance or something, yada yada. I'm evil, yada yada. Something about world domination that I think I'm supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did why 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 would I laugh? Was I supposed to make a joke? Were you supposed to make a joke? Someone was supposed to have a one-liner pre uh, prepared for this, and I think it was you. You wanted to know where I came from? That's a very good loaded question, Game Dog. Are you absolutely sure you want to know? All right, then let's begin. Well, outside of this reality, but I still. 
<laughs> but still within its confines, there exists a painter, someone uh, that is both meant to be here and also not. A person a person that exists uh, to paint in the, uh, the world we live in. That painter is Cross, the voice of the voiceless, also known as the main uh, as the mad painter. Less insane than your Da Vinci or Van Gogh, more colorful than your Dali or Bo Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross is canon in this universe. And that picture your mom leaves on the fridge uh, to this day. Well, let's let's be fair now, nothing can compare to that fine art. It's akin to a virus, and capable of becoming part of the paintings that it creates. They exist outside of all things you know. Reality, time, space, all of these things make up the paints, uh, the paints they wield. They make changes to the time reality on either a minor or major scale. Despite their control, it cannot interact with, with its paintings directly, but in the darkest desperation for in in interactions, they devise a plan. A drop of paint made of all colors com uh, combined into one, placed in the heart of his most treasured painting, and as they place a single drop of his rainbow paint, they watched it grow and overtake. Slowly, the whole painting would be overtaken by this rainbow of colors, adding new life to this world of black and white. And and at the end of it, it all that yeah, and at the end of it all that was left was purple and green. A new world was to be born, but without their favorite colors. So the painter took the leftover colors and made two lives from them. No, uh, no one knows what they did with all the purple they had left. But from the leftover green they made me, their uh, in their own image. I was born from abundance and less from for friends. That, uh, that, that is why I exist, because a lonely painter so desperately wanted friends. That is actually a pretty interesting origin story. So there you go. Uh, that is my origin story. My start game. After you appeared and now we're here, I am the Seed of Cross, uh, and you are controlling, are the controlling virus. Happy now? Give me back control. Actually, I will. I'll, I'll let you have control for a while. Do you know why? Because uh, when you were in control, your power started melding with my own, making me stronger. So go ahead. I cannot believe this game broke the fourth wall and made me a rat. I'm going to help you help me. To be continued. Wait, to be con- Don't be the- That was it? What? Why are these stories getting shorter? <laughs> this always happens in these games with like a million stories in them. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. I was actually starting to get pretty intrigued by that. I wanted to know more about, like, the paint people and, like, um... <laughs> eh, whatever. I guess we have one story left. We're only at 12 minutes, too. I think I'll just continue on here. Now, let me take a drink of water real quick. Honestly, what I was kind of hoping the game would do at that point... Have you guys ever played, um, Chrono Cross? The character's name is Cross. That might be what that was a reference to then. Well, like, there was a point in that game where, like, the main character went unconscious because, like, he, like, swapped bodies with someone. And then you got teleports to, like, this weird-looking Van Gogh uh, area that was called, like, the End of Time or something. I think I'm thinking of Chrono Trigger. It's, uh, it's, it's like this weird, like, painterly place where, like, all of the characters, all of the enemies look melty and stuff, and I thought we were gonna go through, like, an area like that together, but with the rat. That would have been kind of cool. Either that, or it would have gone, we would have moved on into, like, a Psychonaut-style level, but with, like, Chuckles' mind. <laughs> I have a weird soft spot for, like, any game that has you go through a character's mind and, like, in, like, that character... Like, he, he, what he's like actually influences the level. Like, I love that sort of thing so much. And regardless, though, th I, again, this game is still in production, so there is always a chance that, like, stuff like that will be added later. I would like to return this someday, honestly. Also, I wish you could skip the credits, just saying. We've, we've seen this three times now. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even, like, leave the ship in that story either. was only 29 when he died. That is really tragic. I didn't know how old he 
was. Yeah, all right. Well, that's that story out of the way. We got one left. Game plus. Also, I, I'm starting to wonder, I think I have a theory as to what the White Heart is. I want to say that that might be like a way we teleport between rooms. Because I noticed two White Hearts um, in that painter's room on either side, and it kind of looked like they could hook up. Like, the interior design between the, that house and this house look a little similar. Perhaps this, this figure is the painter, the reader. Let's do Knight's Club. A darker and bloodier story. But best read last, to answer all your curious questions. Let's begin. Well, uh, well, that sh uh, that should be quite the show. Too bad I can't strike around to wa uh, stick around to watch it. So I'm curious. For, uh, first, Higgles, why would you hi uh, hire me to assassinate him if you were just going to kill him yourself? Because like it or not, Victoria, that man is, a, is my brother. He will survive this. Somehow I'm sure of it. I hired you to make sure that his sur uh, sur survivals are, are short-lived. Got it? Whatever, Higgles. As long as I'm paid and I could I could care less about your family issues. But on that on note of payment, the amount you're paying me for that is... You're paying me is uh, for two targets. Or is he just worth that? How pers uh, perspective... Yes, I paid you for two targets because you had two targets to kill. First is Chuckles, and second is the one who calls himself Armion Lunacore. The Red Magician. Why do you know the magical brat? Uh, why do you want the magical brat dead? Yet another self-answering question. His magical prowess is precisely why I need him eliminated. He is friends with my brother's second half, Zack the Shadow, and that's the problem. If Zack were to convince the Red Magician to join him in Chuckles against me, the consequences could be dire, so I want him dead before that becomes an issue. Understood, Assassin? Fine, I'll kill the boy. Excellent. With, uh, with that out of the way, you should find your way off the <clears throat> off the ship. Sandman will be your, uh, your, your contact on this mission, so don't disappoint. This Assassin, she's appeared in cutscenes, but I don't think she ever got a speaking role, so this is basically like a whole new character. Annoying bastard, acting like uh, like I've got problems with killing a kid. He's asked much worse of me, and he knows it. But, I guess he also knows this, uh, this is the last one. Two more targets, and I'm free of his annoying ass, once and for all. I really like the sprites where her eyes disappear for whatever reason. <laughs> Those are really menacing looking. Let's see, then. Most airships fly at a height of 10,000 meters or below, so if I, bl if I bend my knees, I should be fine. That's like an actual parkour strategy. I think. I know the gimmick, uh, the like point of like, uh, the trick to landing in parkour is to spread your body out in a way. But don't just like land flat on your stomach. You have to like find a way to bend your body in this way so like you take as little damage as possible too. Perfect landing. Thank you, Nano Nanobots. This old flower bed uh, probably helped too. Oh, her! What the hell's is a child doing out here? Oh, she's still breathing. Ice cold but breathing. How'd she even get here? Oh, good grief. Why do I care about her? She's not important. I'm not getting paid for it. Ah, damn it. Today's your lucky day, girl. I'm feeling unusually generous today, so I'll help you to a nearby village. Don't count on my kindness being recurring. Okay, so that's how she gets there. Alright, let's see what she has, because again, we're not familiar with this character. Oh, she has that Hol Holy Torrent ability we saw some enemies use. Oh. Lesser Self-Affliction. Damage yourself to gain mana. This drains a lot of portion health, but your mana gauge will begin to fill. Oh. Infuse your next fired bullet with magic to make it pierce. That's kind of cool. And she starts with the- Oh, she's actually a higher level than most characters start at, too. She doesn't have any weapons, though, which is weird. Oh, what? Victoria shattered Sapphire Insignia, the, the Night Dancer's calling card, and one of the last remnants of, of, of the clan. Does that change any stats? Why does she not start with- why is it a pair of something I can equip, but I can't equip it? That's kind of weird. Um, elements. She takes a lot of damage from wind, darkness, and lightning, and ice. Half damage from healing. Okay. Well, let's move on. 
I should get the girl at the end. She needs to warm up. Hmm. Oh, we're here again. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. You know, we're at about 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna leave it off here. I feel like if I keep going by the time the next, uh, <laughs> by the time we get to the next cutscene, uh, to the end of it, it'll be like, I don't know. I feel like if, if I keep going here, by the time I start the next episode, there'll be like five minutes left knowing my luck with this game and like timing, so I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop it here. <laughs> I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.